Welcome back guys to another episode of Ray Zero, episode uh, 4 I believe we're up to. Um, let me double check that. That's the wrong thing. Episode 5, sorry, we're up to episode 5 of Ray Zero. I have a feeling that this is going to be a very depressing and probably sad episode, judging by the title. But I've also been told already that nothing too spoilery, uh, but... Uh, this episode's going to have a lot of uh, lore in it, and I'm assuming that means in terms of uh, uh, Amelia. And yeah, judging by the title of this episode, the day Bella Juice uh, laughed, yeah, we're going to learn how he went completely mad um, this episode. So yeah, at the end of last episode, uh, what's his name showed up? I had his name a few minutes ago. Uh, Regulus, that's it. The uh, one of the uh, uh, one of the deadly sin uh, guys. Uh, I think he's I think he's greed, if I remember correctly. But uh, yeah, let us uh, jump into this episode because it's going to be a doozy, I really think. So without further ado, let's might as well jump into it in three, two, one. Yeah, what's happened to you? Hmm. Oh yeah, I think I do remember that. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, Shima has something else that she needs to t let us know. Okay. The original. We're going to be going back quite far, I think. Yep, definitely no, no OP again. Ah. I haven't seen you in a while. Why am I blanking on your name? Beatrice, that's it. And a kidna. That's right, they were together originally. Mother? That's right, that's right. Oh, why have I forgotten that? She considered a kid now her mother. I see we're seeing no eyes for a kid now at the moment. <laughs> nice to see Beatrice again. I think the last time we saw her, she was being killed, though. <laughs> you are her daughter, okay. Yeah, you've always been like this, huh? haven't you, Beatrice? You've always had this uh, mentality that you could do everything on your own. 
And then you met Subaru. Yeah, well, we're definitely got in some lore, that's for sure, already, straight off the bat. I wonder who she's having a discussion with. Is Beatrice following her? Yep, she is. <laughs> Why are you following her, though? Ah, that's that explains it. Yeah, this killing time while you wait for um, Echidna to be done with a discussion with a or meeting with this person he's talking to, this mysterious person. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, Beatrice has always been like this. <laughs> so stubborn. <laughs> I, su I can if I suppose. <laughs> it's still going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Beatrice, you just can't. You just can't, uh... Be uh, clear of your emotions, can you? Ah, of course, I should have realized. A young, young methods. Yeah, hello Roswell, young Roswell. Of several, yeah, that's right. He kept keeps uh, coming back, regenerating essentially. So I guess she only shows herself to certain people. Yes. Yeah, well, you are, again, a clone of the original. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it, isn't it? They are pretty much... Telling dark jokes. Hmm. It collapsed. I think I know how it collapsed too. And it has something also to do with Amelia's backstory. Hence this guy. Yeah, which is called Regulus Cornelius. All right. So in other words, he just Bellatrice just thought he Bellatrice just thought he could um, be the only one that came in here. Who's this? Who are you? Is it someone we know?
Who is she? Yeah, this has to unlock everything. The collapse. Pandora. Okay. Whoa! Damn! <laughs> now that's an attack, but it's probably not going to do nothing to her. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Haven't he's going to totally destroy her. Hmm. Yeah. Wow, seriously, Petrus. Beatrice, how did you change so much? What's in the box, Beatrice? What's in the box? Is this what made him go insane? Yeah, this is definitely what made him go insane. God damn, here we go, here we go. She's clapping. So this is a new girl. She's the one in charge of uh, Regulus, that's for sure. Damn! Well, he's just become a, his plaything. <laughs> So, yeah. So he hasn't gone fully mad yet. I think I know why he goes mad. It's because he loses uh, everyone. Damn, boy, this is a witch of vanity. Yep, title of sloth. Whoa, okay, hey, just destroy half the environment. Yeah.
Yep. This is what ha happened originally back when we first saw him. Wow. Oh, that did. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, we should probably keep an eye on what's happening with you. Uh. Yeah, I need to go see what's going on. Riv. Especially since you yourself, your younger self, isn't even aware of what's going on right now. Hmm, poor Amelia. Hmm. Ah. Not good. Okay. The after, yeah, the seal, which is Amelia, right? The world will end, yeah. Okay, so yeah, that's why they can't get Amelia. But we know for a fact that everyone turns to like stone, not stone, um, ice, including Amelia. But she, and what does that entail though? But we don't know what's happened to Archie either. So, assuming all the elves were taken out. Like, she's the last one. Amelia's the last one in the current time. So, I'm assuming, but I'm still assuming the they're still alive and just trapped inside the ice. I'm hoping, anyway. By, the reason why I say that is... um what we saw in the frozen uh, snow OVA. Frozen bonds OVA, that's it. Oh man, this is getting to me. <laughs> yeah, but Puck was the one that uh, hid her memories until now, but that, obviously there was a reason for that and we're seeing that now. Oh boy.
promise. You and I will always be together, huh? I still don't think he, she actually kind of breaks that promise. Because, oh, but it doesn't make sense. Again, with the, uh, my theory last episode, it kind of falls apart. Liar. Liar. L-I-A. Who do we know who uses that term? Puck. Uh, even her current self is um, crying, but I have a feeling, that's why I'm thinking Puck lied about what gender he was, so he's not a he, but my theory is that that Puck is Mother Fortuna, I really do think that's the case. But, again, I just... Did... Was that the Naruto run? <laughs> Sorry, that just, like, sort of broke me out of it. Because you're going... You will die if you stay there. No, you weren't bad, Amelia. You were bad... Oh. Oh. Black serpent, yeah. Oh, damn. You're not fine. You're not fine at all. Mm, that's something that Bellatrice has as well. But yeah, run. Hmm. Well, Archie's not going to be around much longer. Oof. Yeah, so yeah, looks like, uh, Fortuna was Amelia's mother. Officially, like her, re her real mother. Ooh, ooh. You totally are saddest, buddy. I want to learn more about you. Oof. Yeah, but he has a, as much as I hate to say this, but because it's in the past, but uh, Bellagius has a more, has a bigger role to play still. Pandora. 
Ah, okay. Andorra says something. Yes, she did. Oh. Uh. Wow. I don't think that woman's dead, though. Maybe. Hmm. Wait. No, no, that, that's impossible. Wait, if I'm thinking this correctly... No, 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 that is not possible. Unless it's confirmed. Hang on. You're, she's only acting tough in front of it, Emilio and Beatrice, or Be Bellatrice. Ah. Yeah, I knew she wasn't dead. By his wives, huh? She can just teleport them away. <laughs> Damn. Damn, so we learned something a bit about Cornelius. Your eyes deceived you? Yeah, obviously. Yeah, maybe coming back was a bad idea. I don't think you can defeat her. Uh, we haven't seen her in the modern day yet. So if Fortuna here is really her mother, her real mum, is Bellatrice... Is Bellatrice... Amelia's father? No, that, that's... No, that can't be right. That's what I was thinking... door and I think yeah Amelia is the seal oh, Amelia that's not what's going to happen though I've got the chills though <laughs> oh, damn damn there's the, uh, the fairies. I think I could be wrong, but, um, my theory is that she opened the seal and everything froze.
So maybe every, her family, family. Ah, oh, she's already here. Mm, she's arrived already. What did she do with uh, Fortuna and Bellatrice? Uh, Belgis. Oh, but that. Oh man. Okay, it wasn't as dark as I thought it, this episode was going to be, all things considered. Um, but oh, that this raises so many questions, and I don't know if I'm. I'm starting to really think I'm right about this. That. Wow, that puck all this time has lied about being male, being a man, so to speak. I'm really starting, especially now that we saw, we heard uh, Mother Fortuna tell, uh, say to Amelia, Leah, L-I-A, and who do we know who t calls her that all the time? Puck. I am really considering now the, f the fact, well, maybe this is a fact, that um, sh Mother Fortuna, she said, like, I'm always going to be with you no matter what happens, essentially. That's what she pretty much said. And then... Going back to the flashback we saw at the beginning of the last episode, when we see Puck find her again, well, find her in the ice, find Amelia in the ice, when Amelia asks, her, uh, asks Puck what, what you, her, uh, his name is, he, just before it cut away, Puck did wait a little bit to respond. So I'm starting to really think that one, Puck lied about what um, gender he really is. And I reckon one, Puck is actually, this is, again, theory. I could be completely wrong, but this is my current theory as of this episode. Puck is actually a version, or at least is um, Mother Fortunia. Gretchen is now, though, is, if, it, if that's indeed the case, what happened to her to become like that? I reckon that will be answered in the next episode or two, if that is indeed the case. Um, because we still have to yet to see how Amelia gets trapped in the ice, but I'm starting to think that has something to do with uh, this girl here and um, Amelia herself. I think in Amelia's, maybe in Amelia's haste to, you know, save everyone to protect the, the people uh, she loved, including uh, Bella Juice. Um, she in, inadvertently um, caused them to be trapped in, uh, in crystal slash ice. But it seems like this episode also was kind of hinting at, at the very least, that um, Mother Fortunia and Bella Juice have a connection. Like, they, it seems like Mother uh, Fortunia was like maybe was in love or loved um, Bella Juice. And maybe, again, this is again another theory I have at the moment. So, I could, again, complete, could be completely off about this. But. Is, and remember, I did say that, didn't they also say that Amelia is half human? Like she's half elf, half human. So what are the chances that her, Amelia's real father is Bella Juice? That's why I went, when during that, that part of the reaction, that's why I went, hang on, like wait on a second, because that's when that thought hit me and I was like, no, 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 that can't be right. But it possibly could be right. Again, I could be completely off about this because again, we don't really know who Amelia's parents really are. Well, it is possible as of this episode that we now officially know that 
mother Fortunia was her real mother. And I think uh, present day Amelia has hit on that fact as well. But hmm, things are getting kind of interesting now. I am very excited, curious, and afraid of what to, what we're going to see in the coming episodes. So again, I could be completely off about this, but let me know your thoughts of this episode in the comment section below. Um, please don't, if you've read the light novel, please don't spoil me, um, obviously, but if I, w I do wonder if I'm right about those theories. But anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you soon for some more reactions. Have a good day as always. Bye.